Hello everyone, I am Jagan. I am technical specialist at Skilllink taking care of firmware domain. So in this short video, we are going to see about uh, the PG program in embedded software development and validation for EV applications. So this course is a kind of a offline course. It's a new product which is exclusively offered in Chennai Skill Center and uh, in this presentation, I am going to explain you about some of the unique nature or unique points that's associated with this particular program and let's see what is so special in this skill center course and why somebody who is interested to get into embedded domain should have to pursue this so this program is planned to start on 15th june 2022 the duration of this course is six months and uh, this course contains close to 12 modules i have listed all those 12 modules so the very unique or the special feature of this particular course is this course in are in a single pack or in a single course uh, the candidates are prepared for two different job roles so the course that you see on the left side are ideally preparing you for a core embedded job so the courses that you are seeing on the right side ideally preparing the one for the model based development roles let me explain about the syllabus and uh, unique selling points of uh, each of this course so here is a quick uh, description as well as the module duration length especially in embedded c essentials we'll be starting with the prerequisites that's really necessary for c programming also we'll highlight some of the advanced concepts that are necessary for embedded c program so we will have modules such as structure padding, bit fields, make files, conditional compilation and Misra C guidelines are also covered in a very serious way or to a greater depth. So we run this program for a four week long. When I say four week, ideally every day you will have a live target of completing some four hours of theoretical session and four hours of practical hands on and for half a week you will be a thought with fundamentals of embedded systems whereas in this course you will be given a basic idea about uh, the embedded software development process that's quite popularly used in industries so you will be uh, getting familiar with the terms such as v cycle and uh, what is meant by agile along with that we'll teach you how to convert idea into a code so if you have any idea and you want to convert that into a system so how do you quickly do it how do you quickly prototype it so that's the intention in the second course so whereas in the third course so we teach the microcontroller based course which is actually you'll start with the 8-bit course 8-bit microcontroller so we use uh, at mega 328 as the target and uh, we focus much on the on-chip peripherals how to write the basic device driver code for the, those on-chip peripherals and uh, We'll run this course for 1.5 weeks. Then we have software VNV course, software verification and validation and system testing course. Here we will focus majorly on what is verification, what is validation, and uh, what is the tester mindset, and uh, what are different types of tests that can be carried out on the code that was written in C. And uh, we'll also cover the key aspects such as static analysis, unit testing integration testing uh, including all uh, white box gray box and black box testing and you will have a very good hands-on experience of usage of ldra tool suit so this ldra tool suit learning is very key skill that you can add in your cv that will add really a bigger vintage because it's very difficult to learn this ldra tool suit by yourself or through online so then we have courses such as a device driver serial communication protocol where we will introduce a 32-bit ARM Cortex uh, series of microcontroller from STM32 or from ST Microelectronics and uh, here yeah, potentially you will be understanding about how to configure all the device drivers with the predefined HAL library as well as how do you write your own bare metal programming so we will combine both approach of bare metal programming and the HAL Along with that, we will also teach the importance of CAN protocol and how you finally end up doing a driver development for K 
CAD communication and you do your own CAD stack development for the STM32 target. Suppose this there is a two weeks of introduction to C++ module. So where ideally uh, you be explained with the hoops concept with uh, demonstrating all the hoops concept in C++ syntax and it heavily focuses on modern C++ concepts such as multi-threading, exception handling and templates. So post this, the other very important USP of this course is you will be introduced with a micro flexible module or we call it as micro module. So this would be running for one week to three weeks depending on the job season. So these are nothing but job description based specific topics. So it depends on the season who is the hiring partner who is planned to visit that particular month. So accordingly we will fine tune or we will insert a micro module that could be necessary. So let's say for example there could be a company who is coming for recruitment asking for QT QML framework. We will be teaching a QT QML framework. There could be a potential company who is coming asking for IoT engineers. We will be teaching the IoT module. So there could be a potential engineer who would be coming and asking for Linux driver development. So we will be teaching Linux driver course here. So that's the whole idea. Once you complete uh, the JD specific topic, you are eligible for getting into the placement pool. So from here, your resume development or your CV development and your placement skills will start. So if you start attending the placements and if you are not clearing it, you can proceed with the other modules which will ideally prepare you for whole new set of a new job role, which we call it as model based uh, software developer. So for MBD roles, the very first course is introduction to MBD where we will be teaching you with the model based development methodologies and tools like Simulink state flow and uh, we will introduce some of the basic validation techniques such as MIL, SIL and HIL. Suppose this you have a course on uh, software verification and validation. So this will run for uh, two weeks which is very important course and where we will focus much on how to do a fixed point data types, how to map check and how to do a static analysis. All those things are covered well in detail. And then we have uh, a course introduction to physical modeling using Simscape. This is a very shorter program where we will be teaching how to do plant modeling using Simscape. Post this you will be developing your simulation model for the systems that is getting into a typical hybrid electric vehicle. So this course will run for 2.5 weeks and after that you will be having your uh, interview preparation with this, this program ends. And uh, these are list of uh, hardware and software that you will be potentially using in this course. So there are certain free tools, there are certain uh, paid tools and uh, licenses associated with that. All those things would be offered by Skilllink itself. And you can spend your uh, complete one day in our uh, physical skill center and you will have sophisticated uh, facility attached with Velikyu staffs who can able to support throughout the day for uh, making you to complete all these courses successfully. So there are certain reasons like why you should have to join this program. So this program includes the cost of hardware and software licenses along with the program fee and our curriculum focuses much on development testing validation which is ideally going to fetch you a core job and along with this we are teaching some of the industry oriented concepts such as Misrasi, CAM protocol and you are getting hands on on very niche tools such as LDRA, Polyspace and this program heavily focuses on automotive embedded system and it's kind of a EV oriented program so a electric vehicle oriented program most of the examples are derived from the automotive world and uh, there is a unique uh, job description specific courses which is placed as the seventh module which is ideally helping us for aligning the market requirement at any given point of time. So you are not studying a course that's going to get outdated or that's going to be useless for you. So ideally this program exclusively prepare you for a job ready person at any given season. So furthermore you have a very good uh, whiteboard live sessions as well as and you have uh, technical trainer support during the office hours for entire five days and uh, you will be doing industry oriented projects and two capstone projects for uh, all the curriculums for all the coursework that you are doing 
so there are around uh, some 12 courses or more than that we have seen and uh, in person career counseling is also there and you will get multiple mock test and mock tool interviews before you complete uh, this program and this is a job guarantee program with uh, having all the video access for with a lifetime access so as i already told you this course is ideally preparing you for two different job roles a job role one is jobs on manual coding approach which will place you as a firmware developer device driver developer or a track validation engineer and so on and the second job role is model based which is fetching you to do mbd based modeling or mbd based testing for this kind of role so very important thing is this course is very well aligned with today engineering r and d needs and our hiring partners such as uh, Scient, Xplio, Tata, Lexi, set of KPIT. So based on input from multiple er &D firms, we have fine-tuned and we have set up this curriculum so that uh, you can able to enter into this er &D market. And uh, one key point to be noted here is this course is not suitable for a candidate with a diploma degree ideally you should be a candidate pursuing his final year in engineering steam especially on uh, EEE, ece and i computer science software background so if you are qualified only the diploma and uh, this course is not for you because you require a strong background in problem solving a bit of programming and there are certain mathematically rigor modules are there and these are some of the potential top tech chains who are hiring from us on every monthly basis so the typical salary package range would be somewhere between 3 to 5.5 lakhs thank you